Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. Now if you don't know who I am or you're new to these vlogs, my name is Dan and uh, I took over this farm relatively recently, I should say. But in the last vlog, uh, we cut this field and this field over here and uh, we tethered it uh, to make some hay and it's, already, and it's probably been about five hours four or five hours and it's pretty much bone dry we came up here again about two just to have a look at it uh bought the tether up here and uh yeah it's really pretty much already done but as you can see it's about ten past six in the e evening or afternoon and uh well gav and jeff has abandoned us because um gavin was in the tether if you remember or the Ted tractor, he parked it up under the Ted and then I think he went off to the pub and then Jeff followed him. Uh, I did see Jeff run off after him. But yeah. Uh, I asked Lauren just to quickly set up everything and uh, seems like she has. Yeah. So we've got the. Um, forest script on the baler and then the uh, case on the ted no not tether windrower sorry uh, now the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna basically have Lauren following me at a little bit of a distance whilst I row up the make the rows what you call it and uh, well then hopefully this will be well completed well at least the bailing part I should say but uh, if we do have time I will in this same vlog I will still um, load the bells up onto this thing which I'm planning to get ba ba all the bells from both fields onto this uh, which I could possibly do because it's got some pretty good straps but it's going to be heavy but anyway uh, we'll make Start making our way up the field now. Okay, so we've just got Lauren just following behind there. Um, so we're just going to get up the field, get everything unfolded, and then hopefully start getting this um, hay, that's the word, not crop, I was going to say crop, uh, bailed up. Now, I'm hoping to get quite a few bells because um, we are going to be buying some sheep. I've decided I'm, we've got an animal trailer and I've decided we're going to get a full load of that. Or a fully loaded animal trailer. And uh, we're probably going to get it hopefully tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get everything unfolded and uh, we'll start working. Okay, we are now working. So, this windrow has actually got quite a wide working width, I should say. And, uh, oh yeah. We should, us two, just me and Lauren, should just get this uh, field rowed up and bailed quite quickly. Um, because the other two have just, well, run off to the pub. Yes. It would be nice to go to the pub with them, but, yeah. I'm mainly watching that corner there in case I miss a bit, which I am right now. But this windrow is actually driven off by those wheels, so it only needs a small amount of horsepower. And we could actually stick that tractor on, the, on it, but uh, I thought this one has a bit more weight on. So it will be better for doing it. Now, some of the grass did get flicked into the bushes by the tether, so that's why I'm just going through the bushes as well but this is the hard of it hopefully I'll be able to get around it quite easily these be easy but uh, it doesn't really matter because some of it will at least be left or we'll we can come back and get it but that's actually going really nicely uh, yeah yeah that doesn't matter uh, I kind of turned into the field a bit too much then. But I'm actually going to 
going a little bit more hopefully get the rest of the grass yes um, yeah there we go um, wow that's actually quite a lot of bells already to be honest We've already produced quite a lot. I think that's like one per ten meters. So we're going to get a lot of bales off this field. We might be able to sell some to some of the neighbouring farmers. Now, apparently, uh, we've got some new neighbours moving in. Uh, there's a yard which is currently situated. You see where those houses are in the distance? I'll just let Lauren catch up in this bit but those houses in the distance there's a yard behind there somebody's bought that and one of the houses so it'd be nice to meet who they are and uh, see if they're all right being in our vlogs and that so just go under the trees make sure we get everything out of the bushes but that is quite a substantial amount of bales which we're currently producing so we're going to raise that. Just drive through the bushes. It shouldn't damage the tractor. But uh, we're just going to wait for Lauren to catch up. Hopefully because um, uh, it'll start getting a bit confusing. And uh, yeah. That really. But I have no idea how many prevails we've produced already. But I do like this Windrower. I think it's a great buy. I think we got it quite cheap as well. I think it's a second hand. That baler, it was either between that or a Deutsch Bar one, which looked very similar. I got the Kuhn version because I know, knew somebody around here who already owns the Deutsch Bar one. And I don't want it to get really confusing, so we just went for the Kuhn because nobody owns it. So we're just going to lower this thing down, and uh, Lauren seems to be going, doing a very good job there. So might get a few misfits, but nah. Yeah, I don't think so. Just carry on, and I think uh, we will do a time lapse now. So yeah, I'll be talking in a second. Time lapse. Um, now I was gonna have I had a thought for uh, because the channel wants me to take a picture and then um, they can use it for a thumbnail picture. Um, but yeah, it's gone up all right. I'm not sure where. And um, my thought I had a thought it of where we could. Um, where the two tractors meet in the middle so for example just up here we could take a picture there so well really um, might be a good opportunity if it gets along here if it gets to here I think we might be able to take one here so if she does go past um, well I'll just have to try again in a different place but it also allows us to catch up because uh, she's having to stop and start and also you haven't seen really much bailing uh, right so yeah that's quite a nice bail there want to go and have a closer look pretty decent bail uh, about 4,000 litres of uh, hay inside that same with this one same with that one over there same with that one over there uh, but that is quite a nice that's a very good bell holds together uh, so we've got some good netting uh, I did buy the netting that did that comes with it but I think we should just continue now 
so let's just continue and uh, we'll try and sort out some sort of picture uh, in this time but anyway let's just keep up with the work now then um, I've stopped here because uh, she stopped there and uh, I think that might be a pretty decent thumbnail picture that we could get. So I thought we could possibly go somewhere by here and then have the tractor in the background, that tractor there in the background. So we'll just have to see what we can do. So I might just take a quick picture here and uh, then we can continue. Okay, that's all done now. Um, uh, I think that I got in a pretty good, decent, pretty good position. But uh, hopefully they'll be all right with that picture. And uh, well, they just said whatever picture you're happy with. Um, but we might have to go back again on this on ourselves. But anyway, uh, let's get this field finished and. Uh, I might go and look at the spell counter, but I think we'll time lapse the next field uh, just for the sake of it, <clears throat> and also it's faster. But uh, we might still have a bit of time to um, at least get some of these bells loaded, or begin to get the bells loaded. But I'm I really do want to get the uh, cows, uh, not cows, sheep. Sorry, uh, in the next vlog so I want them it all done in time for the next vlog but I think um, I'm just gonna fold it up just in case if we do clip anything along the road or a car just suddenly comes along uh, because it's not such a busy road there's a it's but it's uh, one of those back roads where pretty much it's when the main roads shut uh, you can just take it along here you far along here to another town but it's this turning here I'm gonna unfold it here because this is going to take a little while uh, yeah Lauren got to it that's what we're doing but I do want to want to scratch it I really don't want to scratch it so I think that might be alright yeah that's alright but anyway Let's time lapse this next field and then we'll see how many bales we have made for these sheep. That's a big wow. 48 bales out of these two fields. I thought we'd get something like not even 30, but it seems this grass was very productive. And it seems for whoever used this before, uh, did a bit of fertilizer spreading, but it could not have been fertilized, it could have just been the grass length. But yeah, we've got a lot of bales here, and uh, this should, well, the sheep will last off this for a long time, I, I can guarantee pretty much. But anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to take all this back to the farm and uh, get all the uh, bale gathering equipment attached. Right then, so we've got everything attached, and uh, what me and Lauren have done is uh, a bit strange but logical, which is spot tractors. So I'm now driving the forest strip now, and she's going to drive the case. Uh, the reason for this is uh, we're going to try and load pretty much all 48 bales onto this thing, which can only hold 12. So it's pretty much four times the amount. But I don't think I still don't think we're going to fit them on. I think we're probably only going to fit about 24 on, about 20 or so. Uh, but the case is heavier and has got more ballast, and also we get to drive forest strip, 
so that's just generally it. I had another tractor. But, yeah. <clears throat> Let's head up to this field and at least, tr well, at least start getting these bales loaded up and hope probably get at least one load down to the farm. But we'll probably do this as a time lapse. I might load the first cup few. Um, just me normally talking and then a um, time lapse for well, pretty much the rest of the loading. But this is going to take a little while because we've got a very small bale spoke. I am also planning to get a new one, but not until we've got or use them these on the sheet at least but I think we're gonna place the case down there somewhere I think we'll start from that end and work our way up on this field but this is gonna be quite a big bale wall yeah I think this is the best area because it's quite flat perfect area for doing a little bit of fail loading so I think we're just gonna wait for Lauren quickly and uh, well once that's done I can hear it but yeah so I think that's done uh, she's turned the range off good so we are now able to start loading up some of these beers so I think we're gonna start out with that one down the bottom uh, this one by here, and uh, if I get it right, I will be a very happy man. But I think that should be alright. Oh, that's a bit off. That's better. Uh, wrap is quite not netting. The netting is quite strong, so we should be okay. But we'll hopefully get this thing onto the trailer quite nicely. So we're going to go for the front one by here. And uh, I want it to sit quite nicely on here. Ooh. I think it just sat on the spike a bit too long. Let's just see how that looks. Bang on, pretty much. So I'll just put a strap on. Uh, put another one on there. Yeah. I think there might be space for another one. Nah, I think that will be alright. Yeah, that's going to be good. But if I do that all like that, all of them like that, we should be out. Quite a nice bail, load of bell trailer in no time. So let's get back in and do a time lapse. Okay then, so we have got um, 12 bells on there, and uh, well, it's night time, so it's stuck where, well, we've lost most of the light, and it's nearly 8 o'clock at night, uh, but we're going to carry on, but uh, 
Yeah, I think it's time to end this vlog. Yeah, it's going to be quite heavy. Uh, but I think we should just keep that safe. But I think that should be alright for now. Uh, we'll c we can gather these up another time. Because uh, apparently for the next few days it's going to be quite nice weather. So we should be able to have a bit more. So if we gather up a few more, then I could rent a wrapper, wrap the rest up and then sell them. We'll get some if somebody wants to take them away. But anyway... Thank you all for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog, um, please like this vlog if you enjoyed it, uh, please do consider subscribing to the Gaming Guitar Guy who uh, kindly is the one who hosts these vlogs or, um, well, uploads these vlogs for you to watch, um, uh, yeah, and, uh,